In the annals of history, there are figures whose stories echo through the ages, yet remain shrouded in mystery. One such figure is Ishmael, the firstborn son of Abraham and a forgotten patriarch of Islam. Join us today as we delve into the life, struggles, and enduring legacy of this remarkable individual. The story of Ishmael, the forgotten son of Abraham, is one of great significance in the Abrahamic faiths, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. Although often overshadowed by his half-brother Isaac, Ishmael played a crucial role in the history of these monotheistic traditions. This narrative will delve into the life and legacy of Ishmael, drawing from the scriptures of the Bible, primarily the Old Testament, to offer a comprehensive understanding of his journey. Birth of Ishmael The story of Ishmael begins in Genesis, the first book of the Bible, specifically in Genesis 16. 1. 16. Sarai, the wife of Abram, before he was renamed Abraham, was barren and desperate to have a child. In her desperation, she suggested that Abram take her Egyptian maidservant Hagar as a concubine to bear a child on her behalf. Abram consented, and Hagar became pregnant. Hagar, in her pregnancy, began to despise Sarai, and conflict arose between them. Sarai treated Hagar harshly, and Hagar fled into the wilderness. It was there that an angel of the Lord appeared to her, instructing her to return to Sarai and submit. The angel also promised that her descendants would be too numerous to count. Hagar gave birth to a son and named him Ishmael, which means God hears, in acknowledgment of the angel's words. The covenant with Ishmael Ishmael's birth did not mark the end of divine interactions with him. In Genesis 17, 1, 27, when Abram was ninety-nine years old, God appeared to him and established a covenant, promising to make him the father of many nations and giving him the name Abraham, which means father of a multitude. As a sign of this covenant, God required that every male in Abraham's household, including Ishmael, be circumcised. Although God specified that the covenant would be established through Isaac, he also made a promise concerning Ishmael. God declared that Ishmael would be blessed and would become the father of twelve princes, forming a great nation. The Expulsion of Hagar and Ishmael As time passed, Sarah miraculously conceived and gave birth to Isaac. In Genesis 21, 1, 21, this event stirred jealousy and conflict within the household. When Isaac was weaned, Sarah saw Ishmael mocking him, which deeply distressed her. She demanded that Abraham cast out Hagar and Ishmael, fearing that Ishmael would not share in Isaac's inheritance. Reluctantly, Abraham was guided by God to comply with Sarah's request. He provided Hagar with some provisions and sent her and Ishmael away. They wandered in the wilderness of Beersheba, facing the harsh realities of survival. God's Promise to Hagar In their dire situation, Hagar and Ishmael faced dehydration and despair. But God did not forsake them. He heard the cry of the boy, and through his angel assured Hagar of his plan for Ishmael's future. God promised to make him into a great nation. A well miraculously appeared before them, providing the water they so desperately needed. This event is commemorated in Islam as the Zamzam Well, which still flows in Mecca to this day as stated in Genesis 21.14. 21. The legacy of Ishmael Ishmael went on to marry an Egyptian woman, and together they had twelve sons, fulfilling the prophecy given to Hagar. These twelve princes became leaders of tribes, forming the foundation of the Ishmaelite nation. The descendants of Ishmael are believed to have settled in the Arabian Peninsula, and tradition holds that he became the forefather of the Arab people. This connection is significant, especially in Islam, as the Prophet Muhammad is believed to be a descendant of Ishmael. Ishmael's Prophetic Role 
While the Quran does not explicitly identify Ishmael as a prophet, Islamic tradition recognizes him as a righteous figure. He is seen as one who received divine guidance and blessings from God. His life is intertwined with the prophetic mission of his father Abraham in spreading the message of monotheism. Ishmael in Arabian Tradition Ishmael's influence extends deeply into Arabian tradition. Many Arab tribes trace their lineage back to him, affirming his role as the forefather of the Arab people. His descendants, known as the Ishmaelites, are believed to have settled in the Arabian Peninsula, where they formed the foundations of Arab society. Ishmael, in the Quran, the Quranic narrative of Ishmael parallels and complements the biblical account. In Surah al-Safat 37, 100, 111, it is mentioned that Ishmael was among the messengers sent by God to his people. While not elaborating on the details of his message, it affirms his prophetic status. In conclusion, the story of Ishmael, though often overshadowed by the prominence of Isaac, holds immense importance in the history and beliefs of Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. His journey, from being born in a time of turmoil to becoming the progenitor of a great nation, demonstrates God's providence and his faithfulness to his promises. Ishmael's legacy endures through the generations, leaving an indelible mark on the tapestry of monotheistic faiths. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, the echoes of the past shape the present, guiding us towards a brighter future.